Greetings. Welcome to an LGR blurb about the contents of this package that just arrived from Poland. And yeah, I've already yanked it open because I wasn't sure what it was. I'm like, what in the world did I order from Poland? I just didn't expect this to arrive so soon, but uh, here it is. So check this out. This right here is an audio project. I'm not sure I'd call it an album. I guess it's an album on floppy disk and not your standard three and a half inch that you see so many of these kind of things distributed on. Nope, this is a five and a quarter inch floppy disk. I didn't know that this was a thing. You know, I have a number of different uh, musical albums and just projects like that that are distributed on floppy disk. Uh, you know, that's a thing. A growing thing, as I'm finding out. Uh, there's more floppy disk labels, uh, <laughs> floppy disk labels, not this kind of label, like music labels, uh, just distributors, uh, folks putting together albums and such on floppy disk. Um, but again, most of those come on three and a half inch disc. And I, this one, I, I didn't know that this was a thing until learning about it recently when uh, I did an interview with some folks for an upcoming uh, project or whatever. I don't know how much I can actually say about it or whatever, but and I'll have more details on that in the future, I'm sure. But anyway, we talked for a good hour, hour and a half, just about floppy disks and sort of the modern resurgence. And this came up. And I'm like, what in the world? There's some on five and a quarter inch as well as three and a half. And yeah, check it out. It is a 1.2 meg floppy disk with audio on it. I haven't actually listened to it. I don't even know if this is music. I think it's just, yeah, it says, this dead media 1.2 meg floppy disk contains raw field recordings that touch theme of deadness. <laughs> it sounds delightful. Uh, Thanks, Poland. <laughs> anyway, so it's it's got some folks that were uh, working on this. It's just sort of, uh, you yeah, know, prepared by various artists. Again, I don't know to really expect music necessarily, but they are AUG files. This is another thing that's kind of interesting. Most of the ones that I have that are like albums on floppy disk are usually tracker files. So like S3M mod files or MIDI files or something along those lines that is very small and can fit on a floppy disk. But this being mono 32 kilohertz AUG files, that's interesting. Uh, it's only four minutes and 27 seconds. I mean, of course, we're talking 1.2 megs here, but still, I think this is really cool. And I'm intrigued to see how in the world you're supposed to play. I mean, it says IBM PC, right? But is there an AUG player for DOS? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe there is, and I just don't know. I don't think there's anything on here but the files. We'll see. If there's just files on here, we'll play it on a modern computer. If there's more than that, we'll play it on an old computer. So, yeah, let's give it a shot. See what Dead Fields sounds like. Explore a theme of deadness. All right, got the LGR Woodgrain PC ready to go here with some software to play the things. Turns out there is an AUG player for DOS. And we're also going to be using a screen tracker because I actually... Well, which way is the camera? Here it is. Remember that I got this sent into the LGR mailbox recently too. So this is Emru Kithkin's Principalities EP. And uh, it's another album on floppy disk. This one being all screen tracker, I'm assuming like S3M files, mod files, these kind of things that you also see. Uh, a lot of floppy disk album releases having. So that's what that is. We'll get to that in a second though. But uh, Dead Fields, this is first. So let's go ahead and load this up, and we're going to be using MPX Play. <laughs> and this, I tried it briefly earlier just to see if it works, uh, and it does, and it's pretty, pretty amazing. So um, it's actually loading to the B drive here, because I had it open earlier just to see if it would load stuff, and check it out. It's reading each AUG file. <laughs> and just giving it track names, artist names. That's just super cool, I think. How well you can see it. Yeah, it's fine. Well, I'm gonna start with this first track here, 27 seconds worth. <laughs> it's just 
looks like somebody driving by on a motorcycle at a beach with some music going. I'm assuming beach. I don't know. That's got beach in the uh, title there. It is actually loading it directly from the floppy drive. I can hear it constantly just copying the file over whenever it starts playing. But yeah, that's all this is. It's just sounds. Dead fields. <laughs> it's just like somebody rustling around a grave. <laughs> I guess. Like, I mean, they're just short sound clips, but the fact that they're pretty good quality, you know, 32 kilohertz and mono, uh, they're AUG files playing on a 486 from a five and a quarter inch floppy disk, that novelty alone makes this extra impressive to me. Just amusing. Funeral, I guess. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Almost sounds like a train or something. Yeah, dude. Field recordings. You will hear the power plant again from the cemetery. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean, at least it holds true to the name. Dead Fields. Exploring a... Or touching on the theme of deadness. Yeah, it does that. What goth ball put this together? I don't know, but I approve. It's pretty great. Meat and fish market. There we go. Reminds me of all these uh, random sound effects compilations I used to get on cassette tape back in the day. Or CD. Ooh, it was so exciting when they were on CD because you could skip around track to track. I don't think I ever owned any of them. We always got them like from the library, but anyway. Old McDonald NYC. Is it McDonald's? Um. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I expected. I, I kind of expected that, but kind of not. That is a, an eclectic collection of things totaling uh, 4 minutes and 27 seconds. Have we even recorded that long? Yeah, we have, so I don't know. Um, that's that. Dead Fields on floppy disk. It's just field recordings. But it's on a five and a quarter inch floppy disk. I'd like to get some, you know, actual music or something on uh, on five and a quarter inch. Uh, now that I know what to look for or to look for at all. Uh, but speaking of music, we have this one. So let's move over to Screen Tracker and get this going. Unfortunately, this original disc, there were a couple of them. Neither of them worked, unfortunately. So I uh, got the original files. Uh, thankfully, Amru also sent them over. So I just copy them over to our Sun Tug, our, our Sunday floppy disk from <laughs> the Wizard Works thing that we did over in LGR for Christmas. So this is Screen Tracker 3. So let's see if we can just load these directly off of the floppy. And a three and a half inch drive instead of five and a quarter inch. So it's somehow not as special, but it's still pretty cool, man. The fact that there's a whole EP on here, it's awesome. So let's see, we have, what's the load? We have a mouse? No, we don't. Is there only one screen tracker thing on here? <laughs> Somehow I thought that there were more. I didn't actually pay attention to the uh, File extensions as I was copying them over. I just, I just copied over the whole folder. Okay, so a lot of these are like M4A, or no, a couple of them are M4A, and then we have one screen tracker 
S3M file. The other one's uh, just a playlist file. We got a JPEG, text. Okay, track listing. Uh, recommended play Winamp or VLC. Well, we're not going to be doing that. Um, I wonder if that MPX player will play M4U or M, yeah, M4A files. I haven't tried. We'll try it. Anyway, whoops. There it is. Straightforward beat so far. Yeah. A nice stereo separation going on. Got a good groove going there. So that is the, uh, yeah, a <laughs> little bit of sampled lyrics coming in, a little vocals, but yeah, Iota is the name of this one. A screen tracker version. So I don't know if that means there's also a not screen tracker version. Awesome. So uh, yeah, definitely check it out. I think uh, there's a band camp for this, <clears throat> maybe for the other one too. I don't have links to these things in the video description, of course. Let's try MPX player just to see if it'll get the other files going or not. I'm just curious. I don't know. It seems to support kind of a lot of stuff. Select Flappy A. Well, I mean, it's bringing them up as well as a play. Hey, look at that. So we got the playlist. I don't know if we can load that or not, but hey, whatever. We got them on here. The other two tracks. So Shroud of Turin and Lukewarm Cherry Cola. Just hear a bit of those. Oh, that might be a little rougher for it to load directly off of a floppy disk. <laughs> Come on, copy the whole thing over. You can do it. I know it. It's also much higher quality too. 44 kilohertz. Yeah. See if that fares any better. It, I mean, you know, it might just be that we're restricted to the bit rate and everything that we can play, sample rate. All right, so it's got them here. Yeah, those are the right files. Let's try it again. Nope. It's just not gonna get them going. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything necessarily to like switch over the quality in real time or anything or, or buffer it or uh, I don't know. And <laughs> like, you can see the the mouse is skipping around like crazy, even just trying to load it. Unfortunately, not gonna work, I don't think. Um, but hey, still, albums on floppy disk, or you know, just, just projects in general being released on floppy disk at all. I approve, uh, but especially when they're music or 
really dark melancholy recordings. <laughs> Either way, that's pretty much it for this blur. But again, if you're curious to hear them, especially the other tracks we couldn't play, um, check out the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.